Have you ever been typing something only to accidentally swipe back across the backspace key and found that it deleted the very thing that you had just typed? If so, I recently found a way to access an undo button from within the Gboard application for those times when you just don't want to type something out again. To begin with, we first need to open up the Gboard settings area. Now we can do that by finding the application icon for Gboard itself, which should be in the app drawer if you manually installed it yourself, or we can bring up the keyboard itself and then tap the gear icon from within the suggestions strip. From here, we're going to tap on the Languages option, and then search for the Japanese language after we go to add in a keyboard. So we type out Japan, the Japanese language appears in the search, and we actually have a number to choose from. And we're going to make sure that the Japanese language keyboard that begins with 12 is selected. So now we're just going to tap on done. And you should see that that second language keyboard has been added. And with that done, an undo key has been added to your Gboard keyboard application. But to use this new button, let's go ahead and bring up an application that we can type in. So again, we have been typing in an application and we accidentally deleted some things. Now we can access that undo button by switching to the Japanese keyboard, which can be done by tapping on this globe icon that sits next to the spacebar. That's going to switch you to the next language keyboard that you have installed. And you can see we have an undo button in the top left corner. So after we have switched to the Japanese language, we can actually undo the very thing that we just deleted. Once that is done, we can switch back to the English language and then continue typing out whatever we needed to type out. Now this workaround is not ideal and it can, in some instances, be more work than just typing out those words or that word again. But maybe you backspaced over an image or a whole bunch of text like you saw that I did. In those cases, this undo button can still be useful when you need it. Now personally, I would like to see Google adding an undo button to this top suggestions strip from within the Gboard keyboard itself. Sadly, as of recording this video, that is not possible. However, I have read that Google has been working on such a feature and that it has been in the works for the better part of the last 12 months. When that feature could make its way to the public stable version of Android though, is anyone's guess. We just know that Google had begun working on this feature in the past, but as of right now, they could have decide, decided to drop development for it in replace of a system-wide solution. Maybe something similar to what Apple has for iOS. However, as of right now, we won't know until Google announces the feature. But for now, at least we can use the undo button with this workaround using the Japanese language.